All right. So here we are at the top of this room here. And this switch, and I want to look at this for a second. So this switch will extend these out again. I want to look at their pattern for a second because I think you have to hit all six in order to get across. So I have to jump from that one to that one. To that one. Oh, okay. All right. We'll let them all go back in and then we will pull pull that switch again and I think we can make it. It's very epic. Very, very epic. Alright. Again, also quite time sensitive. You're actually going through this room the opposite direction. So... So the order in which they contract... Oh, I died! Yeah, I believe you're going through this room in the opposite direction of how you came in. Or maybe not, because you pull the switch there and... Oh no, you are going through in the same direction as... As you did before. Okay. Regardless, you want to... Kind of zigzag your way across like this. Okay, we don't have to hit that last one. We can jump right across here. Awesome. That was less painful than I thought it would be. Okay. And this witch should extend them permanently. Yeah, that switch extends them permanently, so you don't have to worry about them sliding in and out anymore. Although this is probably the last time that you have to cross this room. No, don't jump over there. Come on. Don't be an idiot, Jeremy. There we go. I hear something vicious. Hmm. All right, maybe not. Well, they give you quite a few health packs in this stage. That's good. You can climb up and around all these uh, columns here, and that'll take you to a secret or something. It's up around here somewhere, but that's not what we want to do. Hey, that's a cool little move. I didn't even mean to do that. What you want to do is get this as long as you can so that you're right up against that wall. right up against the far wall there yeah and then no that was wrong anyway you want to jump off from the wall and onto that ledge Come on, you can do it. Like that. And on across here. And now that we've uh, unlocked, you might have noticed before that a little stopper or whatever was released off of this. And that opens up a hole in the floor.
Ow. Okay, I think you're supposed to... I don't know exactly what you're supposed to do, but... Okay, and we've already been in this room. They showed us the ceiling there. Anyway. Doing that drops us through the floor and builds that pile of sand, which allows us access to... Over here. And there are clues in this room. What you're need what we're wanting to do is get this door open. As you can see, each of these here has a symbol on it. So what we're gonna do is go around each room. Pull the block out. Pull the blocks out one at a time. As you can see, as you pull out certain ones, these will extend out of the floor. So if we go in here, we see, okay, a, uh, a crane hieroglyph, and the guy has a pot of some kind. So let's look at what just extended. See that symbol is a crane and okay the green pot. So you want to move the green pot around until it lines up and you can see the stripes until it lines up pretty close. I don't think it has to be perfect but pretty close. Just move around, pulling them out one at a time. Some of the rooms are empty. Some of the rooms have a symbol in them. Some of the rooms will have a puma in them. Okay, we've already done this one. Did we actually go in this first one and see what was in it? Okay, nothing. Okay, yo, you'll immediately hear the music if the... Uh, If the panther is coming, do I just call it a puma? A puma is different than a panther. But yeah, this one, if you pull it out this way, you can climb up and around the room to get to a secret. You have to have all of the obelisks extended first. But you can use it to jump up and around into that alcove there. There's a secret in there. But again, we're not going to bother with that, so... But yeah, if you pull it, you want to pull them all the way off of these switches here. Okay, so that is a... I don't know, we're going to call that a bamboo shoot. And then... Then the guy has two little cups. So, bamboo shoot, and, okay, two little cups. There we go. You'll also hear a little sound when, uh, when you do it right. So there, a third one extended. We have a knot, and okay, the guy has another little guy. So the knot, and the guy with a little guy. So we'll just go ahead and line that up. There we go. Alright, some bullets. Awesome.
Okay, that's the last one. And the last one, in the order that we pulled them out, is already lined up. So... Oh, God. Let go. So, at this point, we could go around and to that alcove with the relic if we wanted to. But we're going to pull out this last block and see what's back there. Alright, some more bullets that we don't really need, but whatever. Alright, and that is the end of this level. So, thank you for watching part 9 of Tomb Raider Anniversary. This has been the original Ginger, and I will see you next time.